children are seen as innocent and naive, who still do not understand the consequences of their actions. These actions can sometimes surprise us, both positively and negatively. In today's video, I'm going to talk about five children who were responsible for crimes that shocked the world. So, let's go to the video. 1. Eric Smith Eric was born on January 22, 1980, in Steuben County in New York. He was very attached to his grandparents, who described him as an affectionate and playful child. However, Eric was diagnosed by a psychiatrist with intermittent explosive disorder, a mental disorder that makes individuals violent and unpredictable. At school Eric was seen as a lonely child and was picked on by bullies because of his appearance. It was later learned that during her pregnancy, Eric's mother took an epilepsy medication known to cause birth defects in fetuses. It is speculated that this contributed to Eric's upset that caused him to repress all the anger he would later take out on his victim. On August 2, 1993, when Eric was 13, he was riding his bike home after being kicked out of summer camp for bad behavior. That's when he spotted four-year-old Derek Roby, who was walking alone through this same camp. Eric approached the boy and lured him into an area of dense woods that was nearby. There, Eric killed him and then stripped him naked to sodomize the victim's body with a tree branch. On August 8, 1993, six days after the crime, Eric confessed everything to his mother, later that same day Eric's family notified the police. On August 16, 1994, Eric was convicted of second-degree murder and sentenced to the maximum sentence at the time for a juvenile offender. Today, he is incarcerated at Woodbourne Correctional Center in New York and it is not known if he will ever be released from prison. 2. Natsumi Suji Natsumi Suji was a typical Japanese student, it is said that her grades were high and she was passionate about basketball, cinema, and the internet. Over time, the young woman began to develop a taste for manga, anime, and violent films and many attribute this as one of the reasons that led her to commit the crime that shocked Japan. On June 1, 2004, 11-year-old Natsumi fell out with her 12-year-old classmate named Satomi Mitarai at the school they attended in Nagasaki City. Natsumi then took Satomi to an empty classroom, then she blindfolded the girl saying she wanted to play a game with her, and there, without another word, she killed the girl with a stiletto. After that, with bloodied clothes and hands, she returned to the classroom as if nothing had happened. When her teacher saw her with blood and stiletto in hand, he set off the school alarm and soon, they found out about the terrible crime. The police arrested Natsumi the same day, and because she was a minor, her identity was preserved. However, a newspaper showed drawings that Natsumi had made at school and on those drawings there was her signature with her full name, soon the whole country knew who the girl was. Natsumi was charged with aggravated murder and on September 15, 2004, she was sentenced to nine years of confinement in a reformatory. This case became very famous in Japan and other countries, including the story gained several representations, from cartoons to cosplayers. There is not much information about Natsumi's whereabouts, as far as we know she left Juvie in 2013 as soon as she turned 20 and changed her name. 3. Christian Fernandez Christian Fernandez was born on January 14, 1999 in the state of Florida, United States. This boy's childhood was extremely troubled. His mother, Bianela Susanna was just 11 years old and she became pregnant with him after being abused by a maniac. At two years old, he was rescued from the streets, while wandering alone, dirty and naked. The person responsible for him at the time was his grandmother, who was found hours later in a roadside hotel using drugs. Later, the boy's mother met a man named Luis Galarraga, who she moved in with and had another son named David. Luis Galarraga started to abuse Christian, and when the authorities found him and went to arrest him, he shot himself in the head right in front of David. After this episode the family moved to Jacksonville, a city located in the state of Florida. It is said that Christian started to attack and abuse other children during this period, and that he also killed a kitten. On March 14, 2011, Christian's mother went to the bank in the morning leaving the boy, 12 at the time, alone with his younger brother, two-year-old David. Christian took advantage of his mother's absence and began to beat and abuse his brother, who could not resist the injuries and died. He was arrested the same day and news of the crime reverberated throughout the country. 
On February 7, 2013, he was found guilty of manslaughter and serious assault and was sent to the Department of Juvenile Justice. He was released on January 14, 2018, the same day as his 19th birthday. 4. Jordan Brown Jordan Brown was born on August 12, 1997, in New Beaver, Pennsylvania. Her parents Chris Brown and Mildred Krauss had a troubled relationship even before Jordan was born. When the boy's mother became pregnant, the couple's arguments and quarrels continued and they decided to separate. Jordan's father filed for custody of the boy claiming that his ex-partner had hidden the pregnancy and intended to give Jordan up for adoption as soon as he was born. This ended up creating a long legal dispute. Until in February 1999 and Jordan was over one year old, his father gained full custody of the boy after a court settlement. Years later, Chris, Jordan's father, met a woman named Kenzie Marie Hauk and after some time of relationship the two became engaged and moved in together. Kenzie had two daughters from her previous relationship and was pregnant again, whose baby would be named Christopher. On the morning of February 20, 2009, when Jordan was 11 years old, he took out his .20 caliber shotgun that he had gotten as a Christmas present from his father, and shot Kenzie in the back of the head while she was sleeping. Chris's father wasn't home at the time, he was off to work, Kenzie and the baby died, she was eight months pregnant. After the crime, Jordan went to school along with Kenzie's oldest daughter, who was seven at the time, as if nothing had happened. The youngest four-year-old daughter, seeing her mother's bloodied body in the bedroom, ran to ask for help from some gardeners who were nearby. Jordan Brown was arrested the next day, he was charged with double murder and was held in a juvenile detention center. He was released as soon as he turned 18, in 2016. Well, Jordan never confessed to the crime and the case has two versions, but the one I told you about here is the official version. 5. Jasmine Richardson Jasmine Richardson was born in 1992 in Alberta, Canada. Her family was middle class and she had a normal childhood. The problem started when she turned 12 and started attending punk rock concerts alongside Bad Company. At one of these shows she met Jeremy Steinke, a 23-year-old who claimed to be a 300-year-old goth werewolf. The young woman fell in love with Jeremy and the gothic lifestyle. Obviously, Jasmine's family was against this relationship, which was due to the huge age difference between the two. After several fights with her parents, Jasmine came up with a plan that would free her to live out her romance and yes, that's exactly what you're thinking. In the early morning hours of April 23, 2006, Jasmine and her boyfriend Jeremy stabbed to death the girl's entire family. The bodies of 42-year-old Mark Richardson, 48-year-old Deborah Richardson and 8-year-old Tyler Jacob were found at the house at around 1 p.m. by police. Initially, investigators thought that Jasmine had also been murdered and that her body was in another location, as she was missing. However, they got access to the young woman's email exchanges with her boyfriend and saw messages about their plan to kill her family. Jasmine and Jeremy were arrested the next day in a town about 130 kilometers from the crime scene. Later, a third person, 19-year-old Casey Lancaster, who was a friend of the couple, was discovered. Casey was accused of covering up the killers outside the house and then taking them away and helping them dispose of evidence of the crime. Jeremy Steinke was found guilty of three counts of first-degree murder. On December 15, 2008 he was sentenced to three life sentences. Casey Lancaster had her accomplice charge dropped after making a deal with the prosecution. She pleaded guilty to the obstruction charge and was sentenced to one year of house arrest. Jasmine Richardson was found guilty of three counts of first-degree murder. On November 8, 2007, she was sentenced to the maximum penalty available for someone her age, which was 10 years in prison. She is considered the youngest person to be convicted of multiple murder in Canada. In May 2016 her sentence was served and she was released from prison at the age of 24. Well guys, that's it for today, thanks for watching and see you next time.